What's good, y'all? I'm Reno Noir, and this is The Sixth Element. So I wanted to make a channel preview for this content. Um, the content I want to make is basically to introduce hip-hop heads and people like myself to The Sixth Element of hip-hop, comic books. All true heads know that there are five elements of hip-hop. DJing, MCing, graffiti, breaking, and the fifth is different depending on who you ask, but the three main ones you hear are beatboxing, fashion, or knowledge. And I'm not going to debate which one is correct at this particular time in this video, although it is a subject we will definitely cover eventually. Uh, but for this channel, I nominate the sixth element as comic books. Um, and it's kind of like how on the intro to ODB's Return to the 36 Chambers, you had that sample from the flick, the 36 Chambers of Shaolin, where the abbot says, we have only 35 chambers, there's no 36th, and the monk says, I know that, but I wanted to create a new chamber, and the abbot says, what would that be? So I declare comic books as the sixth element to hip hop. And before you bug out completely, I'm not the only one who feels this way, apparently. Uh, in fact, just before I recorded this video, I was doing research to justify my claim and I came across an article saying the same thing I was saying to the T. Uh, it was on djbooth.net. It's an article written by Kirion Bayat. To Mr. Bayat, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, brother. The, the uh, title of the article is How Comic Books Became the Sixth Element of Hip Hop which blew my mind that someone so recently said the same words I was saying not that they had the same thoughts on comics and hip-hop because believe it or not hip-hop has always had a very close connection and love for comic books like all the way back to like Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five which gets its name from Marvel Comics first family the Fantastic Four the name Flash itself is based on the DC Comics character, The Flash, to let you know that the Grandmaster was lightning fast on the mixer. There's so many rappers and groups who get their names from comics all the way up through to Wu-Tang Clan members with aliases like Iron Man, which is Ghostface Killer, aka Tony Starks, and Johnny Blaze, aka Method Man, which most people know Johnny Blaze is Ghost Rider. And of course, you got more recently cats like MF Doom, who not only wears a metallic mask like Dr. Doom uh, has, but also has been known to send Doom bots to perform at his shows in his place. That's straight out of a comic book where Dr. Doom would always fool the heroes who thought they were fighting him, only to find out after they busted him up that it was just a robot imposter, which I thought was very clever of the always innovative MF Doom. I could go on for days about the relationship between the two, but if you want to hear more, go read that article, among others that talk about it, because there's many that I found. But that's why I want this channel, to bring awareness to hip-hop heads about the connections to comics throughout rap music since the beginning. There's also just as many hip-hop references in comics, too. One of the things that sparked the idea to start the sixth element is I was reading Harbinger, a hella dope comic title from Valiant Comics, and one of the main characters actually quotes a Nas rhyme from Illmatic while he's trying to spit game to a female. So I'm reading this and I'm like, where do I know that from? Like, oh, that's Illmatic right there. I can't believe they put a Nas rhyme word for word in a comic book, yo, it's crazy which made me think of this movie called Strange Days with Angela Bassett from the 90s, where they got like, you know, middle-aged white men in the bar listening to rap music, which back in the 90s, that was crazy for the most part, because you, you just didn't see that. But what they were trying to say was that in the future, like when my generation grew up, that's how it would be. So now the guys that are my age who write comic books are hip hop fans from the 90s. So that influence is heavy now more than ever. So I said, I, I just need to make some content to cater to my demographic because we are out here and it's needed. Um, 
what I want to do is I want to show y'all some dope comics that y'all will really dig because there's a whole gang of them out there that are not corny. They're really dope, for real. Um, and I'm sure like most of y'all, when I was a teenager, I thought comic books was corny and for nerds. But now that I'm 40 years old, I'm realizing that as a hip hop head, we are nerds, what they call fanboys. Like if you know all about the history of hip hop and you study all the MCs and DJs and fashion designers and graffiti artists and breakers, you might dig in the crates for old school albums, collecting posters and comics, you know, I'm sorry, album covers, t-shirts, then you're no different than a comic nerd. Nerds are actually cool as hell. Y'all might not know that Method Man is a comic nerd. Well, he has, he's a major collector. He has over 30,000 comics. Now, I might have like four or 500 comics, just to put that in perspective, okay, for Meth to have 30,000 comics, that's a huge deal. So, you know, I want to, I want to show y'all uh, that comic books are really dope as hell, not corny, but cool, and sometimes even dark and serious, so I'm going to show y'all collectibles like action figures and pops and movies and video games, we're going to talk those, and of course, hip-hop. We're going to do episodes on the types of heroes, like your superhumans, your mutants, your god level and cosmic heroes. We'll do an episode on street level heroes like Daredevil, Punisher, Luke Cage, and those. Um, is Spider-Man a street level hero? Are street level heroes justified in beating up or even killing average street level criminals in the comics? Without due process, acting as Judge Jerry and Executioner, um, you know, average criminals are different than supervillain or cosmic entities that the upper echelon of heroes like your Avengers and your Guardians of the Galaxy might deal with. We'll discuss the current state of comics as well as the current state of hip-hop and how in many ways they're both in a very similar crisis in my and most comic heads and hip-hop heads minds too. Both mediums are suffering from social justice warriors and while hip-hop is losing its true art form and going straight up pop, the comic industry is doing things to try so hard to be socially relevant. They're actually creating characters. Uh, they got a dude named Safe Space, okay? This is a non-binary gender hero who creates pink force fields that it can only use to protect other people. And another one named Screen Time, which is a hero who is permanently connected to the internet because he was exposed to an experimental internet gas, whatever that is. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm all for diversity in comics, 1000%. But sometimes they try so hard, it completely backfires in, in my opinion. So while today's popular rap music is drowned in auto-tune and mumble chanting instead of bars and lyrics, superheroes are being weakened by SJW writers so we're going to touch on things of that nature and whatnot, and maybe do some rants and roastings. We're going to talk digital comics versus physical books, the pros and cons, why I prefer physical comics over digital. I'm um, going to show you all some specific comics and story arcs that you can start reading. Because one of the main reasons, and I think, you know, most of y'all might be intimidated by starting to collect or just starting to read comics is the sheer number of characters and titles is really daunting it seems like it's too late to get started or where do i start so i'm going to give you the best jumping on points uh to get into certain comics maybe you have a favorite character from pop culture that you want to get into but you don't have any idea where or how you know i like to buy and read complete story arcs Meaning, unless you're buying a special issue for collectability reasons, you don't just buy or read a single random issue or comic. That's not how they work. Comics are like episodes of a TV show. Uh, so, generally, they're continuations of a pre-existing story. So, I will just go online and look up reading orders, and I'll show you how to do that and how I find out where and with what issue a certain storyline starts and I and, and I get or read every comic in that specific storyline so I won't just buy a single comic I always get a complete story uh, and I'll show you you know how to do that and you're gonna feel confident to get into comics 
which you most likely want to if you're watching The Sixth Element. But on the real, this channel is for y'all, so I want to hear your ideas and comments on the things you know that you want to see and, and talk about. So let me know the type of stuff that y'all want to you know get into here on The Sixth Element. And remember, it's free to like and sub. Don't cost you a dime. It only takes half a second. So if you're into hip hop and comics, or you want to be, you know, up on what's coming up next on the Sixth Element, tap the like button and subscribe. And put the notification bell on um, so you get, you know, the new content as I put it up. So look, I want to see you here at the crib on the Sixth Element. Stay safe out there. Protect your neck. I'm gonna go read some more comics. Peace.